Natives grieve when the white men leave their huts because they're obvious, obviously, definitely not. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to, the Chinese wouldn't dare to. Hindus and Argentines sleep firmly from 12 to 1, but Englishmen deter stars, yes, sir. In the Philippines, they have lovely screens to protect you from the glare. In the Malay states, there are hats like plates which the Britishers won't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon and no further work is done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. There you are. Mad dogs and Englishmen. Made famous by the famous Noel Coward way back. That's why it sounds scratchy. Mad dogs and Englishmen. Well, I'm probably a bit of a mad dog, I suppose, but definitely freaking Englishman. So, it seems that makes us freaking mad. <laughs> well, some of the things I do, I'm not bloody surprised. It's Monday. What do I do Monday? I usually go do a bit of shopping. Did a bit today, not a flipping lot. Um, I'm trying not to get loads of flipping stuff for Halloween but some bits that I want and then I fall bloody flat and buy other bloody stuff and I'm sure it's going to bloody upset all those that watch these videos and go oh your bloody place is this and your place is that and it's full of this bloody tat and all that I don't care the others don't care whether it's here, whether it's there, they don't bloody care. It's part of our freaking life, so get used to it. Don't care. Right. Start as normally do, which is part of the freaking mad dog bit, I reckon. <coughs> Got my normal soup. Won't be my video without that, will it? Some bits here to try in a while. I want to start off with this. Um, one of my long time online friends, Janie James, uh, put a video up uh, and it was about young children thinking onions were apples and although the mothers or fathers were saying Sweetheart, it is an onion. No, it's an apple. And I will bloody eat this apple if it makes me freaking ill. <laughs> but I'll give them the bloody do. They have a bit of a teary eye. They sniffle a bit and make some strange noises. But they freaking chew it and they take bites. I'm not talking about freaking little nibbles, they take bites. So, yeah, I thought I'll do this, and part of this video will be for that. Um, so, I think I'm freaking mad. I'm, I'm probably going to make some of the noises the kids make. Uh, if I think about it, I'll leave a link down there to the, the video with the kids. You can have a look how bloody good they are. Anyway, town today, I nearly forgot, but I did buy an apple. <laughs> no, actually, bloody pongs, it is an onion. Peeled it, cut it in half because it's easier to buy. So there you are. It is a onion. There's no bloody apple pips in there. It is onion. <coughs> So before I try this stuff, I'm going to try this and I think I'm more apprehensive of freaking doing this than I am of eating hot chilies. Ooh. Not the most delicious bloody apple in the world, are they? So, Janie James, this is your bloody fault. Uh, tell you what, got a freaking tissue here in case I'm going to spit it out. Right, here we go. For the second time. Oh, 
but I think we're gonna do it. The smell's putting me off. Actually, once you do it, do it to your mouth. It's not so bad. There's some sweetness to it, and it tastes like flipping onion. But it's a little bit warm. But the sort of bloody chilli I put in my mouth, I'd be bloody stupid to complain about this, wouldn't it? Mmm. Actually, yeah, poor kids though, we're conditioned, if something tastes bloody awful we go, ugh, that tastes bloody awful, it's also whatever, not eating it. Kids, no apple, taste it, it is bloody awful but they assume that's what it is. So however awful or hot it is, you just chew it. I don't know. Can't remember that bloody file back. So yeah, Janie, it's not that bad. If you want to know what makes your eyes water, it's not chopping onions and getting it in your eyes, it's up your nose. So if you, if you really have a problem chopping onions and crying, put a peg on your nose, that'll do it. It's the mist from chopping going up your nose makes your eyes water. I won't really eat all this peg onion, but... Yeah. I'm not going to make a habit of sitting there every day chewing a bloody onion, but actually, good, good bite of that, bite of cheese, it's bloody lovely, good bite of that, good bite of pork pie or something, it's lovely. So the future, that's probably the way I'm going. Hmm. I've eaten raw onions in sandwiches and whatever before few with a salad but never actually freaking bit one but I'll tell you something that I probably couldn't bloody do bite and flipping suck a lemon Ooh. anyway that said Janie James chewing and biting a onion apple isn't that bad? Give it a go. Put some links down there to, if I could find one or two links to her. She is a great model. So if you want to see some lovely model pictures, follow some of the links. All right. Let's get back to some sort of bloody normality. Sorry. Bit of the Carolina Reaper soup, I think. Oh, actually, the two together is pretty good. Well, went out today, really for a little bit of Halloween shopping. One or two little bits. Show you in a minute. Come across these though. Wouldn't be a video now, would it, without this bloody stuff? Last time I said I was out of this, well, I don't know if I've said since then, but it's back in the stores. So I'm, but I keep buying it, throw it in the freezer in case it does stop and they don't do it all year because it's generally for something this time of year. So the Carolina Reaper cheese. Sorry, I can't remember the name because I, I didn't ever look before. Somebody, lady asked me on, on here, why is 
your cheese so flipping dark brown and I did sort of suggest I think it's so full of bloody paprika and different chilies and ground chilies and powdered chilies and goodness knows what not surprising it goes that bloody colour anyway that's back today two things I found chilli toaster Ba -ba. Looks a bit Americanized, doesn't it? But chili toaster, it's cheese slices with chilies in. Whack it on your toast in the oven, melt it. I'm not going to try that because it's. That knocks your socks off, I'll be surprised. Still chewing bloody onion. God, These are pretty good, only a pound a packet. And it's. Oh, I'm going to put the bloody glasses on. And forge fiery hot cheese. And it's called Afterburn. I'm sure some of you have said that. I haven't come across it before. If this is, if this is, if this is anything like that Carolina Reaper cheese, I'll be bloody surprised. But we'll give it a go. I'll let you know what I think. I'm not sure what I think this is made up of jalapenos and that so I don't think it's going to be the hottest cheese in the world looks like that and I'm still freaking chewing onion actually actually I don't think it's because of the onion, but this little sub, it got a little bit of a kick. I must be used to the Carolina Reaper. This, just burn the mouth a little bit, gets the tongue. That, for a quid, after burn, they're pretty bloody neat. Oh boy. I like that. Oh. I'm going back there and flipping. Just stuck up that big. Anyway, I think that is the hot stuff for today. Sorry, I'm chewing for bloody error. Anyway. My dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Just passing the time. <sighs> that cheese gets claggy, very soft and claggy. So you try and swallow it, and loads stay behind. That is a pretty nifty bloody cheese because if you had this reaper soup after it, 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 it warms it up. Lovely. Halloween. Bam. See my little mate here? Wolfner. Because it goes flipping woof rather than meow. It's a lovely Halloween skeleton dog and I love my skeletons. Um, went in the store next to TK Maxx. You got any Halloween stuff in? Yep, down there. There is quite a bit 
costumes, blah de blah, sweets, the usual blood makeup and all that sort of thing. One or two other bits, but not a hell of a lot in that store. But I saw these little pooches and couldn't believe my eyes because this was only I think £2.49. It wasn't two fifty, so I think it was two forty nine. I thought I'm, I had to ask, are these two forty nine? Yep. So can do that with its little mouth. Maybe in the night it will do itself. Tail moves. Can move can move the legs if you really push them. But that's bloody lovely. So this little fella were coming home with me. And um, when I found out they really were £2.49, his mate was flipping coming as well. <laughs> it's probably a uh, being a she. I don't know. But there you go. That's flipping good. And about a fiver for two. Can't be bloody wrong, can you? Mad dogs, an Englishman. Go out in the midday sun. We're at a load of sun today, but it's flipping hot. Anyway, that's what I got from there. I didn't get anything else from there. Went in TK Maxx, just bought two things. There was one or two bits that I thought, should I, shouldn't I? But I thought, no, another day. Ah, get rid of that bloody onion. Right, so the bits I got in TK Maxx, on the way out, they had tea towels and such. And loads I didn't really want. There was a bit too ladylike for me. And I wanted black. Then at the back of a row, I saw black. And on the black, these are tea towels, was this. That's me. <laughs> There's two for... 3.99 so that's handy I might see if they do have more and there was only this one if they're more this is really it's really solid material um, and I think you could actually make up stuff with this rather than use for a tea towel really sturdy stuff I don't know what the hell it is you could even cut that out fold it over a bit and use it as a back patch on a battle vest or something if you just need something like that but that is flipping great stuff and the main thing I bought today which is a a bit cute but I told the haunted bat she's in freaking trouble if I you look in her place She's the mistress of the pumpkin. I don't know about the haunted bat. She should be pumpkin mistress or something. I don't think there's a there's not a pumpkin she ain't got. Anyway, and she's got this, I believe. And I saw, but I said to her, "You're in trouble if I end up flipping pumpkins like you've got. You're in trouble." And over there. The pumpkin area is freaking growing. So beware, Miss Bat. <clears throat> and this is what I got today, just for cute cuteness. Yeah, that's the front. I don't know if you can see its little face. <laughs> I mean, look at that. <laughs> can you not freaking take that home here? Look, look at that face. It's better than mine. Look. <laughs> it's in this lovely little pumpkin that's smiling its flipping head off little cat sticking out top of the pumpkin on its head a little switch at the bottom uh, if I find it you turn it on and you'll get a bit of a colour change 
whether I, or not I'll do that or not. So, this little cat and his pumpkins going over there in the pumpkin garden. And it's bloody grown. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be all skulls and freaking pumpkins. Why, why am I going pumpkin freaking mad? I don't know. But they do sort of get to you. Anyway, so that's it really, I think. Mad dogs and Englishmen. Mad dogs. Well, if you look like that, you'd be pretty freaking mad, wouldn't you? You wouldn't be very happy. So, mad dogs and Englishmen. Go out in the midday sun. Not a lot out there today, but by hell, it was flipping hot. It was flipping very close and hot. So, I'm off. Try for a week to get rid of onion breath. <sighs> Tis nicer. So from him, him and me. Catch you later. <laughs> Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun.